Well, howdy, howdy, howdy. I'm finally here in phase 12. Better late than never. And as you can see, we have an array of vehicles lined up for use in this uh, lovely sunny green region. Or is that a ferry? Over there, in the middle of the water. Uh, but anyways, yeah, we're here. A bit later than anticipated, you know, where it gets in the way. But anyways, it's time for our exploration, as we do per series. Map by map, we explore, do the tasks and contracts, and then we move on. So, our scout for, uh, our main scout, I think, for this season, will be the loaf. Will be, uh, although it is orange, I'm going to call it brown bread. Uh, we've got plenty of supplies for getting around. We've got the uh, the beefy jack of all treads mud tires on there. So we'll see how things go. As you can see, we have no progress. I played a little bit on the PTS. I moved the Cat 660 on its trailer with the what was the modified Kenworth, and uh, yeah, that was a that was a real time. A real time was had there. Uh, dragging that stupid thing through the mud. The worst trailer in the game. But no, we're here. I hope everybody has been enjoying, been enjoying um, Season 12 so far. And at this point, Expeditions has, has been out for... But at the time of recording, early release was 10 days ago. Main release was uh, 5 days ago. So I hope, you know, if you've been playing it, you've been enjoying it it's a it's a very different take on the sort of the the methodology oh look at that, that road is completely churned up but we're going through it just fine um i don't know i'm gonna persist with it for a little while just to see see if uh, it's something i will carry on with but i'm unsure at the moment but anyway back to snow runner season four not season four year four it's been, it was, was announced at this point like months ago, so, and given that this is a four map region, I'm going to have to up the ante if I want to actually complete it uh, within a, a timely manner of Season 13's release. So, I might have to do a bit more than normal. Oh, this, this, what's this? Running on empty. Oh. Okay, one of these trailers loaded up with concrete, not connected to the truck. There's a free trailer. There's no trailer store nearby. I don't think. I think it's mission based. Ooh, that was a nice little hop. So yeah, we're gonna do the normal thing. Uh, roughly in for watchtowers. Go as far as we can on road. See where they go. Try to not confuse medium blanks with regular blanks, and so on. And we're all, we're gonna do it in the comfort of the love. Which is uh, really not a vehicle I use very often. I think I've used it the most, sort of in Tamir, way, way back when. And I uh, threw it off a cliff in a co-op session. Oh, wonderful generator stuff. Great. Uh, right, so what is made here? Cement, concrete slab. Fuel required 70, fuel required 100. Hmm. I suppose this this kind of mechanic only affects hard mode in reality because the, the fuel does oh what's that because fuel doesn't cost you anything in normal mode so hmm. anyways right what is this as we slowly reverse is it going to be more of those uh it's not going to tell me okay I suppose because I can't technically make anything. Right, let's continue. I'm not stopping for that. Right, let's continue on this road. See how far it goes. Um, I hope it's not too road heavy. Like the previous few regions have been. Where it just becomes a bit, you know, just going back and forwards. On the roads, there's no, there's no challenge. Is this the delivery point for for that? Yes, it is. You see, you see, you see how you can deliver to either side, 
expeditions, you see how you can do that? It's, uh... Right. Oh, there's a tent up there. I think we're going to have to take things off road. I, the suspension on this is hilarious. It just bounces. Such a fun little thing. Woo! Not surprised at the suspension damage, to be honest. But, uh, right, so, I mean, I sh probably should say, years ago I did actually visit North Carolina on holiday. A friend was working abroad and was uh, located not for about an hour outside of Charlotte. Uh, we went to visit for two weeks and we, uh, whoa, that's deep. So we stayed with him locally, met some of the locals. We're in the bar every day. Did some exploring around. We went to South Carolina to uh, the, the Naval Museum where they have a submarine, an aircraft carrier. Got a nice picture next to a Tomcat. Right, ooh, it's getting a bit. It's getting a bit narrow. Ooh, that was a, a kick of the drive wheels. Right, which way do we go? So left, uh, left goes back towards the garage. Right goes towards the watchtower. Yeah, so left goes all the way back to the garage. So let's go right and then left. Oh, I see, right. So we've got to rubble trouble too. And it seems as if, right, what? Oh, oh I don't like that. Ah. It seems as if even the scout path. One metal beam. One metal beam! Wait, can I not just drive over this? Oh, hang on, not like that. Oh, right. Safety line. No, we. Come on. Come on. Surely we can get over this. Yeah. No tiny Roblox gonna stop me from getting to the watchtower. Sorry. The logistic so logi uh, logistic logical solution one. I don't know if I like the way they're naming half of these missions now. They just put in they they've run out of steam with naming things. Just one, two. Uh, yeah, logical solution one. It's a bridge to be built. Um, hmm. Oh, so we could head down this way to get past that roadblock. Oh, that's good to know. Oh, there's a huge bridge out there. So I want to head back this way. And I did see there was a two-slot trailer available as well. Let me just, uh, oh. There we go. Well, physics catches up. Uh, where's the road? Where is the road? Um, <laughs> right, aim for that. Now we, now we snow our, now we're doing expeditions. We're just forging our way through. Wait, the loft isn't in? No. Oh my god, I can't remember. I can't remember. Is the loft even in Expeditions? I would hope it is. I can't remember. Uh, which is, given I've played it at this point for seven hours and I can't remember how uh, few vehicles there are in the game. Um, that's... Uh, yeah, that one's on me. God, it's, just, it's so like... It keeps you on your toes. It really does. Oh, this is, this is a bit deep. It's a bit deep and a bit wet. We can get up onto the rocks. That's a bit better. A bit more manageable. It just bounces. I might have to repaint it. I know my, my go-to... Um, paint scheme is sort of anything remotely orange, but I might have to just repaint this thing brown because it's my brown bread. 
Right. Look at that. Now we're, now we're just basically rallying. Whoop. What? The, what, the physics? Okay, this should only take a second. It's funny, because this thing still uh, happens in expeditions, where you can just end on the nose. Right, we'll get ourselves close-ish. It's going in a weird shape. Right, then try and... I'd like to pull the end back a bit around. In that's it. Side on in one way or another. Right. And now... Oh! Oh, the hedges tipped me over. Well, not they're not hedges, but you know what I mean? Small bushes. Right, where's the next watchtower? It's over here. So, I guess we're not going to head towards the bridge. We're going to... We hit that crossroads, go straight on. Uh, oh, there's a little turn as well that's there. No doubt that's actually the wrong path. Um, and I suppose a kind of a, a channel -y update. Uh, I will be away again from uh, late April. I've got another project. So between now and then, I am going to try and put out as much of this as I can. Uh, I'm thinking if I can manage it while also making other things do three a week. I'm going to be playing a lot of SnowRunner for the next two months or so. Well, the next uh, six weeks. While also working on reviews for the Femme, for the Rock, what's, what's the Rock Grinder and the whatever the other Scout, the Scout from the last season and the Scout from this one. Rock Grinder and something else. Is that, uh, oh no, further up. I've also got um, a new video idea that I've got um, typed. I've got a script typed out, but it needs proofreading and sorting on that side first. Uh, that's going to be quite a big one. But uh, I'm, I'm excited to, uh, to get working on that one. That one should be more beneficial for new players, but hopefully still helpful to, to veterans seen as uh, it might as well be done as there is a year four so you know why not oh I like this this trail is it's proper rocky whoa that was uh oh Ugh, quick save right this oh my god if you've never had a go with this thing and you have the jack of all treads tires I don't think it's this much fun with the regular MS ones if you have the, the jack of all tread pack give this thing a go it is hilarious and just don't be frustrated when it falls over I mean because it will as, as you've seen but it's look at it's like a little monster truck is what what am I, what are my stats B plus I mean Ah! It goes and goes and goes and goes. Bounces like a little terrier. Yep, 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 yep. And it just keeps going. Nope. Oh. Uh, rocks. Okay, rocks are uh, an issue for mud tires. Oh, we can, we can go up either side of this, really. Or not. There we go. See, if you've seen my Expeditions streams, you know I've been struggling with the, with the controls. Partly because I'm so fluid with the SnowRunner controls, and they've changed them for some reason. Right. Oh, we've got a huge view. Oh, look at that. Another generator area. 
Product, Fuel, Town Warehouse. There's an upgrade over there and a partially built dish. Right, so where should we go next? There are no tasks here. I can assume the metal works has uh, certain materials. Right. I wish the generators told you what they made. You know, you click on the warehouse, uh, metal beams, metal rolls. Metal works? Oh, yeah, that's where the generator goes, dum dum. It does tell you what it makes, so that's probably more fuel. Right, so there's no need to traverse these routes, really. So look, it looks like there is quite a bit of road in there, but a lot of it is broken. That's nice. What's in the town warehouse? Sp uh, service spare parts. Gateway to Pipeline Bay. Oh, it's a ferry. I suppose, yeah, because they, if they're doing it by ferry, they can just put it anywhere. We've got a core. Oh, we need to get down here. But that bridge is up. So, I don't think that's happening. So, is there any reason to not recover? Because I can't get across here. I can't get across here. So, it would be a bit of a waste of time to drive all the way back. So let's see. Um, right, is one of these going to be... What's Abandoned Giant? Ah, that's the Fem mission. Uh, it's not going to be that's a different map Jumbo Bridge what's that deliver four fuel and a generator to the drawbridge okay so that would give you access where do you get the fuel from not in this map right I'm going to recover to the garage and then we're going to hit with this watchtower right I've got the watchtower marked up uh, ooh. is it going to be this way Let's find out. I didn't really see if uh, this... It didn't look like this was a route on the map, to be honest. But uh, the maps don't often reflect reality. So I took this uh, alternate path, and I'm not sure it's what uh, the way I should have gone, because I basically just treaded the coast. That was a, a Hummer with a trailer. Come on, let's get on there. I'm beached. Hey man, my car died right on me when I was hauling a fully stocked trailer. Tow it to the shore. I mean, you're on the beach. Not, you're not that far away. Uh, yeah, this is not. Oh no, hang on. Ah, I, I can get up there. We can get up there. How far away is that now? That's very far. How hard could it be? Also, yeah, I've had this tree stuck in the bonnet for about five minutes. It's not going anywhere. I've got a, a, a souvenir, essentially. But no, the loaf is still soldiering on. Uh, oh. See, you see what I mean? It didn't look too bad on the map. Although I suppose a map would not have uh, loose rocks. Oh no. Come on, you gotta do something. Right, let's see. Can we. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Uh, right. Try pulling the front around just to get some kind of movement. So the problem with the autonomous winch is it is although obviously you can use it with the engine off, it is short. Will it will it roll over? Uh not in the way I intended. I'm it'll be fine. Oh dear. That's that is a shape. Right, and now... Oh, we're propped on a rock, so hopefully this will work. Where we just now pull it up onto the wheels. 
I'll make sure it's in first gear. A little more. There we go. Perfect. Like nothing ever happened. Maybe I will take it a bit more easily. Oh god, that's a huge rock. That is a coarse boulder. Why, why have I still got this tree? Like, thank God I'm not forced locked into first person. It's got it's moved. Ah, not again. Wait, am I? Can I winch to the the tree that's stuck to the bonnet? Okay, we've made it up what I assume is an old riverbed. Oh, there's a wooden bridge. Uh, might aim for this side. See, if there was a trailer store, I'd buy one of those radar trailer thingies. Okay, oh. Well, the fr I mean, the front is out. Let's try and maneuver myself at least. Thank god it's got uh, four wheel drive. That was close. Nearly stranded. I would uh, I would quite like for this It's it's migrating. I've arrived at the meteor station having essentially gone the wrong way. Uh, but there is a scout fuel trailer, which I'm inclined to leave, actually. Uh, sorry, I just need to cut through this quite nice garden, actually. Just so I can... Uh... Is, is that a road? It, it isn't. I'm going to make it a road. Maybe you should do this closer to the trees. <laughs> uh, just wait a few seconds for physics to restart. Okay, not quite what I expected. Here we go. Uh, right, so yeah, basically head down and then turn left. Always remember, steer into the direction in which you're rolling over. That gives you the best chance of staying upright. Okay, next watch point has been found. Uh, we've got logical solution two. A lot of these are they're bridges that I don't feel that I'm going to need to actually use. Uh, there is... This is that's a scout trailer. I could do with going over there. So we've got the gateway to the reactive zone. Private order. Um ooh. Do you need to head down here at some point. Although maybe via the main road, because that would be a bit quicker. But I would like to get that scout trailer. So I'm going to go back to the garage again, grab Logical Solution, get that trailer, obviously that'll help clear up that bit, head there, get Private Order, and then down through this area. So, be right back. Oh dear. This one was more impressive. I think I've also just realized that the garage may refuel me, but it does not repair me. Seeing as my engine is still damaged and I'm consuming uh, more fuel than normal. Which, I mean, it's in normal mode. I'm really not bothered about fuel consumption. That's, I mean, oh no, low fuel. Guess I'll just recover or send another truck free of charge. Right, so we've hit the, what, what was it called, like, logistical problem too, which is essentially build a wooden bridge. Really, really technical stuff. 
No, logical problem. Sorry, not logistical problem. I went quite high then. Volume. But, um, when I was driving around, one thing, one thing I really noticed, uh, I've been playing a lot of Mudrunner while I was on my previous project offshore, and you can really get by in SnowRunner without actually, you know, hitting the watchtowers. The, the way, the area you explore, it's, you carve out a huge piece of the fog. You know, the fully illuminated bit is quite small, so what's that? The radius there is, it's 40 meters. And there is 140, but in, in Mudrunner, no, you barely, it's, the area you uncover is basically the width of the, of the track. You know, so the watchtowers are a huge benefit. It's just, uh, yeah, it's, it's quite a big difference. Alright, where? What the? Found a hole in the ground. Where's that? Ah, it's around the next few corners. And there's a, a few of you probably watching, like, why hasn't he repaired the engine? He's consuming more fuel. It doesn't really matter. If I was, you know, heading into, say, Amandra, then, yeah, I, I'd repair the damage immediately. Uh, but there's a fuel station in the map. Uh, oh, that's the new vehicle. The new scout. Oh, just, uh, mostly on. <laughs> Whoops. That's uh, meant to do that. Uh, yeah. Can I, can I just get... Nope, it's the mission vehicle. Am I able to commandeer that trailer? It's not connected. So, hopefully I can just... Uh, I can just pinch it. Come on, get that wheel over the edge. That's the ticket. Oh. Does it actually have to be the right way up? I mean, logically, you know, you would assume so. Huzzah! Right, seeing as, that, seeing as I'm not moving, I will repair. Because my gearbox is starting to take damage now. Even though it, well, it's got uh, a lot of stuff. A lot of points. 150 points. And considering an impact only does two damage. Not that bad. Uh, we don't need to use it yet. So I'm going to head now to here. Holy moly, this trailer has impacted my <laughs> performance uh, off road. I've had to just sit in high gear. Or low just to, to get through some of the rougher parts. Gone are the days of the springiness. Right, whoa, before we uh. Wow. 10,000. Oh, four cabins, jeez. Are those made here? They sure are. 150 fuel, so, oh, so you don't need it. You no longer need a container and some wood to uh, to build a cabin. Everything just costs fuel. So basically, wherever you have a, a generator, you just need a, a small truck to to act as a as a as a fuel a fuel dump. I don't know. Yeah, just a spare tank, basically. Oh, this. That's another mission. Also, there's the cat trailer. Uh, wait, what? What do you mean, just unload cement? That's okay. That's probably another mission I've accepted. Um, right. So, oh, at least we can carry on all the way down. So I will aim for this. The road looks. A bit broken there. But we'll see. We've got... Was that 150 litres or something? On the roof? I don't know. It changes now. It used to be quite consistent what was in uh, each jerry can. But 
now it is not. Okay, so I have to be a bit more careful with this trailer. Trying to stay on the hard ground as much as possible. Because, you know, the trailer is bigger than me. And seemingly much heavier. So hauling myself and it uh, is, is becoming quite difficult. So we'll need to find a good opportunity to pause and refuel. Which might just be here. I've got 120. 20, 40, 60, 80. Ah, okay, so they've got 20 in. I'm sure on some other trucks now, the the jerry counts of 30. 30 litres per. Do I need that? No. Not at the mo- oh god. That's not going to do much good anyway. There, there you go. The one ahead. This place is uh, quite awful for something like this. I presume I'm going to have to come through here quite a bit with uh, cargo on bigger trucks. 140 meters from my target. I am avoiding the tracks as much as possible. I'm diving between spits of land or where there are trees. All right, we made it to the arbitrary destination and we're gonna fire up the radar. Because of this little animation. See, I like in Expeditions, there's a module that does this, but it actually goes on the truck. You don't have to lug a trailer around. That just discovered a bit of road. Okay, well, we'll do the next one over here. It's only 300 meters away. All right, here we are in Eastfield. It's a built-up town, obviously completely empty because it's rained. Uh, so, you, know, so you never see anybody, apart from the odd fisherman. Well, there's a shop there with 50% uh, off. Oh no, it's a bowling alley, but with really short alleys again. Oh, there's a trailer store with a semi-trailer and that. That also goes to Pipeline Bay. But it doesn't look like it works yet, given the state of it. It looks half built. What are you? Oh, you're a dom. The old 71. How much further down? Ooh, quite far, actually. We're going to spin it around. And, uh... Oh, use this bit. Oh, that trailer has cargo in it. Uh, what are those? Some kind of service part. Or some kind of spare part, rather. The Don is over there. We can get that at another point. Or is it already usable? Yeah, it is. Oh, this, this is like a little race arena? Oh yeah, we haven't found any contests. What I've realized so far is that there are weirdly, there's only a few actual tasks. It seems to be a bit lower than average. Maybe... No, because even maps like Amor had a lot of tasks in them. And a lot of contracts. There's a hover stick. You can see that's still in the game. Electrical substation is to the to the right, apparently. Watch for falling rocks. Rocks have fallen. We can see them. Ooh, don't hurt me. Right. Delving more into the unknown. Well, this bit doesn't look... I bet it doesn't look too bad to cross, but I bet it's awful. Oh, nope, it's fine. So once it's all repaired, there is a road route you can take, which gets you all around. There's a contest. Right. Um, uh, I'm going to do, as I'm near the, the south of the map, I'm just going to do another one of these. Wish it went a bit faster. Alright, 
Wonderful. Oh, I see. Lock trailer. Scout fuel trailer. Another lock trailer. So yeah, we're, uh, as the sign would suggest, we're at the substation. Hopefully we can just go through it. Oh, that's full of medium logs. Repacked. Oh, this is cool. We've never we've never had a substation area this big before, especially one we can just drive through. That medium trailer is also repacked. Interesting. But the there are no Logging camps, like those, those just scenery logs. I just put it into high gear and then stopped. Right, so that's 600 meters. Yeah, we'll, we'll try and get there. Oh, we've got a bit of a pond to cross. Right, let's head to this section. Oh, God, that's deep. I wasn't expecting depths like those. That's where the high gear really helps. Just to get yourself out there without the truck wanting to worry about changing gear all the time. Rockiness. And that's a big gap to forward. Oh, this goes to town. But, oh, is this bridge the only way? Oh. There's no way across. Well, that ruins my thing of exploring the map in episode one. Gateway to Flatland. Okay, so I guess my first protocol is to do this. I see. There's no point in me really carrying on up, up here. Okay, so you join me at the substation and I am in the step pike. And that is because for Jumbo Bridge, we need four fuel, but then we also need to deliver a generator. So here that I'm going to pick up on the way through is a five slot trailer. And then I'm gonna pull the generator up behind me and then leave it at the gateway and then go and get the fuel and then come back. The generator you need it's a mission specific one, so it is on the map. It's not one you can buy. So here it is. Uh, it's So it's by the log trailer and the scout fuel carrier as you come in. I did have a whoopsie and a roll over, so I actually managed to use the log to flip me back over because I was part way where that corner is up ahead. I was part way over the railing like the back of the truck was over the barrier but the front was not um but the the, um, the loft did a pretty good job but uh yeah this i've not driven the pike probably since the season eight release i think that's when it came i think that's when this truck was uh was released to us the crocodile was a separate dlc if i remember rightly and this was part of season eight same time as all the, the Western Star route pack. But yeah, we're gonna haul this up to the gateway into whatever the adjacent map is. And oh, that's gonna be that was a that was quite a big hit. Right, so I need to get this into a position so it's the correct orientation and as everybody knows trying to reverse the dolly trailer is awkward that's why I basically lock the dolly in an orientation and just 
basically reverse it by force. This is going to be not too pleasant for the pike in terms of hauling through mud. Having a lot of weight behind the truck. But, because I need four slots of cargo, and I... And the twin steer can't tow a trailer anyway. I thought I would, uh... Use a truck like this. I can already see the impact. And it was only part way through the journey that I realised really that oh, I've only got 250 litres, but it's it's not too thirsty, and we've got a little boot rack. I probably could have topped up from the scout fuel nearby, but if I get in trouble, the loft and come to the rescue. Let's see, yeah, it's not quite enough power output. Right, we go. And we want to head this way for the tunnel. I mean, with, without the, the trailer behind us, we'd be, we'd be whipping and flying along. But we're just going to be a bit slower. So I'm going to jump ahead to basically load it into the next map. Oh, that was quite the uh, quite the slow journey. Also, I have done a lot of damage to this poor thing. I'm just slammed into that lamp post right there. But we've made it to the reactor. How far am I going to be able to drive along the road? I have no idea, but at least I can refuel myself when I get there. And I might use some of those repairs as well. Hopefully it's not manual loading only. Oh dear. Ooh, is that a water tower? There's a water trailer. Geodetic guidance, water? Geodetics is to do with navigation. Nothing to do with water. Right, maybe I should waypoint the fuel, just so I know roughly when I'm getting there. That's too quick. Yeah. Um, the heck is up with this ground? Oh, wonderful. Wonderful hitboxes. Something I really hope they work on for... Right, now what? What even... What even was that? I'm gonna have a, a quick poke around in here. Free repairs. Access to location. Wait, I was attached with a winch? What? What's in here? Industrial boiler. Sand, oil barrels, oversized cargo, even spare points. There's quite a lot in there. Beep, beep, past the trains. With a industrial boiler already on a trailer. Boiling hot. And then... Another contest. Right, let's get this thing turned around. Well, so after quite a lot of driving, I've I've made it to the fuel station and the fuel pickup. 
I wasn't expecting it to to th for this map to be uh, essentially cut in half by the by the river. So I'm just gonna. You see, I've used my roof rack because yeah, I pretty much expanded all that I had. So you can see the the route. Come in, so we came in here and we went south. I thought I'll follow it around just to see where it goes, and then just on a gamble went through here, picked up Swamp Rally. And there's a river crossing here because if you look along here, there's well, I don't know how deep it is, but to be getting across there with a trailer, it's probably not going to be ideal. So there's another gateway there that I found. And then took another gamble on this shortcut through the woods because I was about 300 meters from here, 400 meters, and yeah, we've just about got there. Let's uh, make sure I'm fully topped up. There we go right, so we're gonna make our way back. The truck has taken quite the pounding, but we've made it, and we found out where, as we'll need them some wooden planks at this warehouse so we'll be back here before long acquiring more materials well that's a limited cargo uh, warehouse so now we start the quite a lengthy journey back and oh, we didn't like that uh, that slightly awkward camber and a bit of a hill now get to test the pike's hauling abilities. Which I think yeah, once once you're on more level ground and can get the power down, then it's pretty decent as you'd expect. Especially for a, a truck with uh, always on all wheel drive and diff lock. Which is that that 250 liter uh, fuel tank not as limiting as it would seem given I've driven across two maps. Yeah, I had to use my spare roof rack fuel, but only just. I, I only filled up here, like, as you got to the, the dirt road. But as you can see, I mean, the fuel consumption is going to be a bit worse with the journey back because of the extra, the extra weight. And it'll only get worse when I hook up to the generator trailer as well, so we'll essentially deliver everything in one go. Right, so I think to get back, there's a gateway there, yep, it's this way. And as we're getting back into muddy terrain and the river, to avoid us going up and down the gears constantly, we're just sticking high, cruise back. So the river crossing is it, pretty straightforward, it's, it's nothing. Nothing difficult, really. Maybe I should swap. If I'm going to use this truck for trailers like this, I should at least um, equip the other snorkel. Do I even have one? I don't think I do. For some strange reason. There's um, basically a snorkel that attaches to the back of the roof. So it's nice and high. So yeah, you know, you have to submerge the whole truck in order to take water damage, but I haven't really been in danger of taking water damage uh, thus far. Or maybe here? Yeah, there, there's a brief... If I'd have lingered in that puddle, I'd have started to take damage. So we get through here, there's like a, a mud rally, or I think it's called uh, Swamp Rally, is the actual name of the contest. Where you've got little areas, racing areas marked out, which seems quite cool actually. Small contained racing areas, not a whole map based on it. Got these flags everywhere. And there's another deep puddle. Just wriggle our way through that. But yeah, I've hit quite a lot of posts today with this truck. Given, you know, it's been a while since I've driven properly in SnowRunner. 
so, you know, I'm a little rusty. This is essentially the warm-up before going into Tamir, which will be tomorrow, as of uh, this particular recording, for the no all-wheel drive, no diff lock challenge, for which the, the fleet has been expanded to uh, a couple more trucks, where some of them have just had their all-wheel drive uh, diff lock removed. Not as mods, but because you can just on some trucks just uh, uninstall the components. Oh, I need to go down here. There's a roadblock there. Uh, suspension has taken quite a beating. You see it's taking more, and fuel tank damage. There's a railway piece to deliver there. But the, the rest of this bit should be uh, this is quite a, an aggressive bump for a little bridge. The rest of this bit should be road until we get back into Pipeline Bay. I only got the name of the map because it's in the top right. I completely forgot what it was called. So we're nearly there. The slope, the initial slope through the mud's going to be quite tough. Oh, here's the, the digger of doom. Just ease off a bit. Let's put it in high, that's slow enough. Yeah. Well controlled this time. Yeah, a river that wide, it's a bit of a gamble. Some trucks could cross it, uh, but not that, no well, especially not without a snorkel. Not this thing. Alright, I'm going to try and maintain a grip just by sticking to the bank a bit. And I will just essentially jump ahead to where we're reconnecting the generator trailer. So I will see you in a jiff. Let's pull it in close and prepare for a struggle. It is a huge shame that we can't attach little trailers to the back of bigger ones. Right, that's nice and close. So off we go. I think it's a bit too early for me to be uh, combining cargo for multiple jobs together to like discover a bit more about each uh, each map. So we are going to be taking it easy because, as you can see, at least oh, the suspension's nearly gone. See, this is why I don't repair everything immediately. A nice amount of fuel consumption until we get into the off-road area. It's going to get really slow. And before I get into that, I will redo the suspension and top up the fuel. Well, in fact, I'll go until the truck stops, and that's when I'll do it. This is no point killing my momentum. It's half the time, momentum is what gets you through these areas. Now, what they need to add from um, from spin tires, mud runner, and expeditions is the ability to extend the winch rather than just the um, having the option just to pull it in. Well, seen as I've stopped. Rest of the fuel in. And prepare the suspension. Reattach. Is that reattached? Yep. Yeah. I'm 
might just have to see low gear because it limits your wheel rotation speed sometimes you're just really not going to get out of those conditions don't want to get too far ahead uh, or else I won't be able to reach the trailer right, so now, yep just make sure I can pull that in and break on should be fine just for holding it in I don't think I'm gonna go anywhere anyway come on slowly but surely Um, I assume it's, yeah, it's straight on. I don't think I noticed the junction on the first pass. Right, it's a bit more steady ground. Can use the steady ground to drive as well as pull the trailer in. Come on now. Ooh. See, this is where I have to tell the... Uh, this big 660 cat. Which is why the boar... I think the boar is able to do it. I think you need a high saddle, technically. Whether or not the boar will actually fit under it, I've got no idea. It should just use its sheer size. Is that stuck on something? No. Or at least not anymore. It's rough for a little bit and then, you know, it, it does get a bit easier. As long as I can stick to the relatively dry ground as much as I can. Yeah, high gear is not going to be an option. It is a heavy old trailer. And the step is doing... it's doing a great job. More than you would expect of... Uh, fairly small, but, but it does have big tires. Oh, I appear to have uh, sunk a little bit. Uh, let's just pull myself sideways back onto the main track. of nasty oh see that green line kind of lies so the ability to winch extends more from the center of the vehicle not from the back so it's kind of line when it's uh, when you've got a long vehicle where it's telling you what the what the range is it's yeah it's not wholly accurate That's why it's so hard to winch from the, the gooseneck triaxle um, low loader. It seemingly has. That also just has no winch points. Look at this, we're actually having to work to deliver cargo. Ah, too far forward again. Pause the menu every time. Just to check. We got some solid ground. Come on, step, you got this. I remember this this is the route, you know, it took on the PTS to deliver the cat. 
and just being stuck every five seconds. Just because that trailer that the, the cat is loaded on is so low. Sort of being funneled in here. Get it a bit closer. And then from the yeah, can reach the tree. You see how, yeah, from the front of the truck, I was able to reach the full extent, but from the back, can't do it. So yeah, this is getting really annoying, because it should be close enough. Right, where's the next bit of dry ground? Oh, we're pretty much home free. In terms of getting through difficult terrain. But it's always the way with these tow trailers that they add so much weight behind the vehicle that it's just uh, it's just rough going. Now if the truck's going up a gear, I'm going up a gear. As long as I can turn. Alright, don't bug down. Just get through this bit, and then we're on the road. We're so close. Mm. <laughs> oh, it's just that extra weight in the mud. It's like an anchor. Wonderful. Right, that's the difficult bit done. And we've got a hundred litres thereabouts. Alright, I'm just going to check so we can get all the way through. Oh yeah, rubble trouble, what about that? One metal beam. Is there a way for me to take the route over the hill yeah why not I've come this far I want to explore the map before uh, before doing lots of bits and pieces unfortunately in order to finish exploring the map I have to do this big bit and piece but it also may involve um, some creative driving. I'm gonna. Oh, the cat is empty of fuel. Darn. And quite badly placed for getting around. Oh, the generator might have fuel in it, actually. I should use that. Because this is just gonna be used for the bridge, so I assume it doesn't actually need fuel of its own. Oh, I should have marked the route on the map, shouldn't I? Oh no. That's, mm, that's quite a lot of rocks. I don't know if I'll be able to really force my way over. I don't know, it might be doable. I'm gonna find out. Well, there we are. Although we're gonna have to be careful that we don't go too far forwards, or else we'll lose the ability to pull the, uh, the, the fuel trip, the generator in. We'll shift this with this. Roblox are just small obstacles. Go and get the middle on there now. Driving the wheels, really not going to do that much. 
Oh, if I drop any of this cargo, that's, uh, that's bad news. Doing this because I missed a turn. <laughs> little trailer's feet. There we go. Um, right, this is going to look interesting. But those trailers are mostly wheels. Doesn't matter that it's fallen over. Yeah, maybe it does. Let's try and get it from a bit further. I mean, it's over. We've just got to. Come on. Oh, am I too far away from the pin? Uh, no, it just won't let me hook onto it. Which is, uh, it's not ideal. Because now it's back to front. Oh, okay. We have an opportunity to turn it over. All right. I'm going to move this trailer forward, detach, and then just reorient, and also check for fuel. How far am I from delivery? Uh, kind of far. Uh, right. Can I refuel from this? I can. Yeah. It's not going to notice. We can top it up at the fuel station anyway. Proof that you can just do it all with one truck. Alright, more bog. This shouldn't be too strenuous once the pike makes it across this bit. hurt the suspension a lot and one of the wheels but I'm just thinking momentum just get through it stick to the grass stick to the dry spots oh normally a tree of that size would have just been pulled down and I've lost that momentum That's annoying. But we're nearly there. We're nearly to the little village, town, whatever it is, where the bridge awaits. Come on, let me high gear up this bit. 
the traction is there. Oh, it gets quite muddy. That's where the side, the detour rejoins. I presume. This will have to be a wide corner. Which is fine because the bike's turning radius isn't amazing. Now I'm taking engine damage again. I feel like I'm taking damage just at random. Like that last hit was, I don't know. I don't know why it's a damage, it's just, just driving normally. Okay, well the difficult bit is all done. Oh, observatory. Luckily, you know, the main aspect is that the, the fuel tank is intact, and that has fallen over again. For whatever reason. There we go. I mean, it's back on its wheels. Okay. Underbar, this huge lift bridge. Oh wow, we stopped so abruptly. Oh, is that hit the lamp post? All right, let's get this out of the way. I'm absolutely taking the rest of the fuel. Whoops, that's the wrong way. Wait, the towns are called Eastfield and Westfield. That's uh, cute. Right, give me some more of that. Go now it works. Counterweights are up. Oh, can I still access this for fuel? <gasps> I can. It's essentially a small fuel stop. Right. With our trailer reattached, we can venture out across the bridge. down to the port, grab that mission, and then nip up to the watchtower with just a step. Nice six wheel drift. Come on. Stop and turn. Truck is fully repaired. Ah, oh, wonderful stuff. Right, I need to loop this around. It's like they've actually put in a spacious area. Oh, one of these. Oh, it's not in the same line as. Maybe I'll have to take that back. A spacious area for uh, loading cargo. But given that this corner exists, maybe it wouldn't be so easy to get an 8 slot in here. What do they have in here? Solar panels. Oh, we've not seen those in a while. Medium planks, consumable solar panels. Okay. Another place where we can get medium planks. Is this a task? Yes, it is. No, no, it's not. It might be an unloading place. Ah, this is the task. Ah, oh, a, a big tanker. Alright, 
I'm going to leave this here. Oh, it's replenished my rooftop supplies as well. And we're going to hit this watchtower. So I need to turn right, follow the dirt road. Now we can go into full rally mode with this six wheel drive beast. Not have to worry about puddles. Just look at that straight through, no problems. So part of what I'll do next time will be sorting out the various roadblocks. Um, which way is it? Left. So that I don't have to take silly detours or have to climb over roadblocks. Well, this is a bit... Oh, oh am I going to get up? It's this one? I mean, a scout would have really struggled there. But a scout would not have struggled here, unlike me trying to get through this narrow gap. There we have it. Oh, oh what? Wait, wait, were those there before? I don't remember seeing those. But, as we can see, although I think there's actually a mission to build a watchtower for some reason. Uh, I'm not sure what's down here, but yeah, that is where we're going to end it for today. So I hope you have enjoyed. We've pretty much explored the whole map. We've driven everywhere on it. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed. I want to thank you all very much for watching. Join me next time, where, as I say, you know, we'll do Rubble Trouble logical solution etc you know clear all these roblox and start uh i might do, yeah i'll continue and i'll do the tasks first of which there are only seven for now they might they might spawn some more but yeah thank you very much for watching have a good day and i'll catch you next time